Hi, I'm Jack Cauliflower of Cauliflower LLC, and I'm going to show you how to install the lockjaw and clamp system, lockjaw clamp system. So, uh, what we're going to do, I've done some prep work here. This is my table. We're all, um, see, I have a metal table here, but I'm going to show you how to install on a wood table. Okay, I've done a little prep work here, just the easy stuff, but first of all, you're going to want to have your lockjaw track system. You're going to want to have your instructions, some number eight wood screws, um, a screw gun, tape measure, um, and you should be all set to go. So first of all, let me apologize for the water there. My coolant's leaking a bit. Um, so what we're going to do and what I've done in advance, I've taken this board, I've mounted it. So just pretend that this is your CNC tabletop. Uh, I, I've drawn these lines, um, just a straight line here and a straight line there and a straight line on the bottom so that I know how, where to put my clamp, where I'm going to edge it. Um, so, and, and I've, uh, so that's what you do, you draw those lines. You have to decide what, where you want these according to your size of workpiece. I know that this is my workpiece so I'm going to have it spaced out about that far to get the best holding capability. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and um, I'm going to uh, line it up right there on these lines, both in X and Y. Then I'm going to take my wood screws here and I'm going to go ahead and screw it on there. I'm going to make sure it's nice and straight. And um, this is a very quick and rough uh, hand install. Of course, there, uh, there is the CNC version like I have on my metal tabletop, and I'll get to that here in a minute. But you want to make sure the lines are nice and straight, the piece is nice and straightly lined up there. Then you put your wood screws in, should be all set. I've already done my other one, so we should be set to go on that. Uh, next thing we want to do, now that we have this mounted, we want to go ahead and put in the clamps and the stops. But um, actually the correct order is clamps first. So I'm going to go ahead, you want to turn that in about one turn. There we go. And then before we put on any stops, we want to grab the workpiece and I'm going to go ahead and put the workpiece up to the clamps. Oop, I'm uneven there. I want to be. It really doesn't matter. Uh, you choose which slanted hole these clamps go into. I could have put them here. I could have put them in any of the others. Just fine. So I do want to make sure that I'm only turned in about one turn. And uh, that is so that the clamp actually travels in a downward and forward motion. Um, and not a pushing motion. It wasn't designed that way. So we have the stop serrated side to the workpiece, and I'm just going to go ahead and butt that right up there to it. And then I'm going to screw it on down, fasten it on down, make sure the teeth are mating with the other teeth, uh, the teeth of the stop with the teeth of the track. And there we go, I've got the stops mounted, I've got the clamps mounted, mounted. Now it's just a matter of screwing down the clamp. You could do this with a screw gun, which I do with the metal, or you can screw it down just like that. We're solid, we're ready to go. We are ready to CNC. Now, I want to show you an example of this other side. <clears throat> I'm making some metal. Uh, parts over here and I want to show an example of how I have my tracks mounted uh, below the surface so um, that is an option too if you want to keep a tabletop that's nice and clear uh, whether it's wood or metal or whatever the case may be um, please mount it or you can mount it below the surface and that's just fine I have kind of a different application up here um, it goes to show the versatility of the clamp because I'm actually uh, have a, <laughs> I'm using a screw as a clamp as a certain application. Then over here, you see I'm using the clamp as a clamp. So um, it's very versatile, very good, great for CNC. Um, the instruct, as the instructions say, just go down bit by bit. Uh, I determine the correct spacing in between the tracks. Um, I used a precise measuring vice, uh, device to sketch the lines. 
I fastened the tracks using number eight wood screws. And then I went through the application of simply putting your part on there, putting the clamps on first, putting your part on there, butting the stops up, engaging the stops, engaging the clamps. So thank you very much. I hope that you greatly enjoy your lockjaw track system. It is a great clamp, a wonderful clamp, and it will help you out greatly. Thank you very much.